Hi, I'm author Gay Palisner, the author of The Memory of Things. Hello, my name is Nora Raleigh Baskin, and I wrote the book 910, a September 11 story. Hi, I'm Tom Rogers, and I am the author of 11. 20 years ago, this country suffered the worst domestic terror attack in its history. There is an expression uh, for writers that you can't get your reader to care about what was lost until you get them to care and understand what it was like before. And in our case, we're writing about the attacks of 9-11 in my book takes place the day before, Tom's book takes place the day of, and Gay's book takes place in the days following. We wrote these books to help young people who weren't even born in 2001 understand what happened that day so that we might never forget. To never forget. Never forget. On September 11th, 2001, I was listening to WNYC as I drove home, which is a radio station that's broadcast from New York City. They immediately broadcast the news that there, a small plane had crashed into the North Tower of the World Trade Center accidentally. My wife had gotten up early to go into work for a conference call with a firm in New York the call got canceled because of the attacks and she called and woke me up and let me know I needed to turn on the television and see what was happening in New York and that was how I first learned about what we thought was an accident and soon came to understand was a terror attack. I picked up both my kids from school and took them home and I kept us out here on the front lawn playing wiffle ball. I didn't want to go inside and turn on the TV and the news and have them hear what was going on until we knew as a country what was going on. So why do we want to talk about something as difficult as 9-11? Story helps us to figure out how to cope with future trauma. Books are a way to help us deal with events like that, to not just learn the facts, but to think about how we will respond as human beings when we confront hard times. Will I be a helper? Will I rise to the occasion? Will I find the courage do what it takes to make it through difficult times. I've been thinking so much lately about the parallels between um, post 9-11 days and post pandemic days. And I think that talking about it, talking about the former is instructive on the latter. Help us tell this story and keep the memory alive. Help us tell this story to kids who weren't even born in 2001. These are some things that students have said about our presentations. I didn't know that 9-11 affected people around the whole United States. I learned that it was a very beautiful day and there wasn't a cloud in the sky. Because of the research they did, I learned rescue workers called Ground Zero the pile because there was a big pile of everything. I didn't know that people on the fourth plane gave their lives to save others. It looks like authors get all cozy and eat chocolates and sit in their PJs, but it is a really long process and hard work. You need to gather many sources to learn different perspectives and revision is a huge part of the process. The people on flight 93 were heroes. They managed to crash the plane into a field which prevented anyone else from being killed. I didn't know that when 9-11 occurred, many schools sent children home in order to protect them. I learned how horrible it was. I used to think it wasn't that big of a deal, but now I understand. Invite us into your classroom. We love talking to kids, not just about 9-11, but also about reading and writing. We do individual visits, we do group visits together. The three of us engage in a kind of free-spirited sharing of ideas. Uh, so bring us to your classroom. We'd love to talk to you. Read and remember. Read and remember. Read and remember.